Well, happy Wednesday. I am going to Dollar General today, and I will show you why. I got this in the mail yesterday, and it's $5 off, $25 or more, if I go to this specific store. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And it expires on the 26th. So, that's where I'm heading. And I plan on getting mostly non-food items. All except for, they do have some coffee if it's still there. I'll be surprised if it is. On sale for $5.25 for the big canister of Maxwell House coffee. So, I just might buy two of those. And I have on here um, fabric softener because we're fresh out of fabric softener. Uh, toilet paper, Brillo pads, um, maxi pads, stuff like that. And I believe that this will be enough for a month. So, if I could hit right on $25, that would be $20, but I'm guessing I'm gonna go over just a little bit. So it'll probably be about $25 even after the coupon for our non-food stuff for this month. Now, there are some freezer bags on sale at Bilo, and they come out to a dollar ten a box because they're buy one get one free, and so I might actually buy some of those as well. I'm thinking that I am going to hit right at four hundred dollars. It could be even a little bit less for food items for this month for a month, for the past four weeks, counting this week, which I think is excellent, plus you're talking $25 for non-food, so $4.25. Now granted, we were out of town for four days. If I would add in what we would spend on average for four days worth of food, it would still be like $450 for the food items for the month, but we weren't home, so I'm thinking it's going to be about 400 but once I am done with the grocery shopping for this week, I will let you know about that. I like to keep an average, and so that would be an average of $100 a week. And then, um, so... I'm drinking my, this is in this cup, it is water, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and a half, almost, well, probably a third tablespoon of baking soda. I started drinking this once a month, and now I'm drinking it like two or three times a day. I didn't drink it so much, though when we were out of town. I think I only had one in four days when we were out of town. And I think it's tasty. Now a friend of mine and my husband tried it and I think they pretty well thought it was nuts. Um, but I think it makes me feel better so I drink it anyway. Okay, so frugal tips. This is what I I have been doing and it's been working out well. And it really stretches the grocery budget. Take some rice and cook a pot of rice at the beginning of the week. And then take some potatoes. Like we get potatoes like this past time we got potatoes, it was a 50 pound bag. For 11 something, you might as well say $12. Before that, it was like 13 something, you could say $14. So, you could say 
$13 on average for 50 pounds of potatoes, and that's very good. So, peel and dice up some potatoes, and I do them about maybe three-fourth inch cubes, and boil them. Uh, not until they're mushy, but until they are of a potato salad consistency. And then later on in the week, you can use those potatoes for different things. You can use them to uh, warm up in the mornings. You can take some um, bacon grease or oil. And then you can take uh, some onion, diced onion or sliced onion. Fry it in the grease and um, scramble some eggs. And if you want to, you can put a little bit of meat in there, like some ham or bacon or sausage. And um, then uh, scramble some eggs in there. That's a good breakfast meal. You can take the potatoes and you can mash them up later. They're already cooked. All you'll have to do is heat them up, maybe add a little bit of water into a, a pot put the potatoes in there and mash them up, you know, heat, heat them up and then drain them again and mash them. You could, today I took some and I, I sauteed some onion in a skillet with some canola oil and then I put the potatoes in there to warm them through in the skillet and then I have some fajita seasoning and it's so good on many things. I sprinkled the fajita seasoning on there with some chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, and salt. And then I had a little bit, maybe like a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of salsa. And I sprinkled that on there and heated that through. And then I threw on just like enough to grasp of probably what, one third cup, one fourth cup of cheese. Sprinkled that on there and it made a delicious lunch. If you had some kind of meat, you could put just a little bit of meat on there or smoked sausage. You could do like shredded chicken, beef, if you had some beef left over from a roast. Um, you could even do ground beef, uh, some smoked sausage or breakfast sausage, what have you, and it's delicious. And um, you could put the, the breakfast mixture or that mixture with some beans and uh, tortillas to eat. Or you can mix it with some rice and uh, beans. It's delicious. There's so many things you can do with it. You can make potato salad. So why not? Anyway, so I'm going to let you go. I might do a video on what I get at Dollar General. But I'll catch you later. Bye.